What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video. So I want to give you guys a little bit of help. If you are looking for some inspiration for your stream overlays um, or your your logo, whatever, um, maybe maybe I could be of some help. I, I hope. Um, other than that, I just want to show off what I've been working on since last night. So uh, I'm always evolving my stream, always changing it. Um, I'm always trying to improve. I'm always watching my stuff back, trying to change how I do things, like how I talk and whatever. Um, but we're going to be talking about the, the, the layouts and stuff. And so, you know, I, I've, I've been just watching my stuff back and I've been grilling myself over some things. Uh, but I found, uh, I found some sites and uh whatever that that uh that have helped okay so uh the border here is a png from visuals by impulse and it was free so um yeah go go check that out go check out their overlays and whatever um it was free uh what you don't see is uh supposed to be down there it's supposed to be top fan or whatever top donator i've already got that physical that's another idea for you guys something physical something physical to show your audience that they they are appreciated um what i do is top star donator for the week goes up on the marquee for the whole next week and i plug them in like whatever whatever they do like an etsy shop or a youtube or a twitch or something like that i plug them every single stream or every single video so that's what i do just to just to show my appreciation for somebody who has supported me um, but yeah, that, uh, so uh, let's, let's go on and I'm going to talk about the animated background a little bit later when you see it again in the intermission screen. So, um, okay. Also that, uh, that transition there, that, um, that stinger transition, I, that's going to be going away, but I, I got that on YouTube as well. Um, now I want to say before I go on to anything, if you download videos, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong camera, sorry. I do that all the time in my streams too. If you if you uh, go to YouTube and you're down, you're trying to download videos for like you know free, free this, free that, you know, uh, free clips or whatever, free green screen clips, um, stuff like that. Please, 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 if it goes to a media fire or something like that, do not do it. Do not do it. You're putting yourself at risk. So just just go to a YouTube downloader and do it that way. Um, because it's, it's being offered free anyways. So yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, anyways, visuals by impulse, they have a tool where you can actually go and you can submit your logo and your different colors and the design choice, uh, or design of your choice, uh, for a stinger transition. So, um, yeah, yeah. Go and go and check them out. Visuals by impulse. I'm I'm still waiting on my stinger transition, but I bet it's going to be awesome. So uh, they do it all themselves. It's not a generator or whatever. They got to work on it themselves. So I can't wait to can't wait to get it back. But I don't have a game source right now because my PlayStation shut off. So all you see is a black screen. But uh, this this box is the same box you've seen earlier uh, is but from visuals by impulse and uh, same with that box down there, actually. Um, but what I did was I alt drag the top down to cut the top off and then i i actually did the same with the bottom because there's more to the bottom of the image but i didn't want that um and then i just shift dragged the bottom to stretch those uh the arrows out i'll, I'll call them arrows uh i drug them out and then i put my restream chat right there the restream chat uh is just showing off uh youtube facebook and twitch chat uh, for my streams because I, I stream on all three at the same time. So yeah, go check that out. If you are, uh, if you are a streamer and you want to do multi-streaming, uh, restream is pretty awesome. Um, also I have a transparent blue background to the, uh, the stream chat because, uh, before it was just transparent and you couldn't read anything because the, the weapons and the ammo and all that stuff, other text is just getting in the way. Um, making the words look jumbled so there's that now i want to talk about the logo real quick okay so there is my logo right there all right and uh i'm pretty proud of it but the base image the shape of it and the letters i got from a free application called esports uh logo maker 
So that's the original right there. And I ran with that one for quite a while until I just thought about it. And I was like, man, I need something that's actually personal. I need something that I make. I need something that I'm proud of. And now I, I'm not, I'm, I can't draw. I can't draw. I'm not good at art. I, I used to be really good at digital art, but I just, I didn't keep doing it. So not that great, but I am great with, <laughs> well, I wouldn't say great. I'm pretty good with Photoshop. Um, but since I don't have the money, I used a program called GIMP, GIMP 2.0. Um, and, uh, I went around Google and I found different parts to, uh, to wolf art. And I was like, yeah, that, that'll work. That'll work. And I was just kind of, you know, putting them together like a puzzle and then using the blend tool and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I, and also changing the colors of things and whatever to blend them together nicely. And uh, I'm really happy with it. Um, and so that leads me to saying to you guys, hey, hey, hey. Uh, whatever it is, whatever it is, be creative with it, toy with it, whatever. Y you'll 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 figure something out that you really like. Seriously. And if you gotta if you gotta go to a free application to get something to start out with, do it, and don't feel bad about it. Um, but don't stick with that, okay? Don't stick with it. I see too many times uh, young people, I see too many times young people stick with uh, the the orange dragon that you actually find on that app, the eSports logo maker. There's an orange, orange dragon with a little ribbon across it where you can put your name or whatever, your stream name. Don't stick with that. So, like, go, go and modify it. Or if you know somebody who makes logos, hit them up. Um... But yeah, that, this is just something to get you started. Um, so now I'm going to go into uh, my intermission screens. Um, basically, I have two cameras that are for intermission. And uh, there I have two. Uh, since I, I don't know if you can actually like uh, just set your uh, your stream deck or whatever to switch your camera sources. I, I don't know if that exists at all. I have two scenes. They're pretty much the exact same, except different camera sources. And they both have the stinger transition. But then I have two duplicates of those scenes that don't have stinger transitions. So, if I, like, say, say, you know, I've been uh, been rocking a match and whatever, and I'm like, whoo, whoo. Yeah, it was close to a win, man. It was close to a win. Hell yeah. You know, I, I come here and... You know, I don't want to I don't want to do another stinger transition into the that camera again, because that that camera up there is uh, is the other one. Um, but what I would like to do is just do this. Just uh, yeah, just one, you know, just quick. Boom. Just a cut. No stinger transition. So. Yeah, it, and I, I know some things are misaligned, and I gotta I gotta fix that. Um, but I uh, I work pretty damn hard on this, and uh, it, it it does suck to have to have like multiple scenes like this, you know, where you can just change your camera. And I'm going to be perfecting it as time goes on, um, like moving some stuff around and whatever. But uh. That up there, okay? That up there is from Esports Logo Maker. <laughs> the Endeavor with the Wolf. But what I had to do, uh, not necessarily had to do, I was just playing around with it. I uh, I messed with the Gamma, the, 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 um, the Luma? Luma key, I, I believe it is. And the Chroma key as well. And, uh, I uh, was also messing with saturation, contrast, stuff like that. And uh, I had a, um, I have the, well, you see it. I have the fluctuating blue. I, I'm like pointing at it like you're looking at it, you know, with me. Um, but I've got the, the fluctuating blue GIF. You could find that on Google. Um, I have that in the background. So it, it looks pretty cool in my opinion. Um, I actually put them together and I did the chroma key and everything in OBS and then I hit record on my stream deck 
and then I reused it later in different streams and whatever. And then I was like, man, I need to add something else to it. And that's when I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna look up, uh, you know, uh, like blue sparks or something like that for an overlay. And uh, well, not necessarily sparks, but I found I found this one in the midst of a ton of other free um free overlay videos on youtube um so and i i believe i mentioned it mentioned it earlier but if you find a free video on youtube it says it's free but there's a media fire link or whatever just don't don't go to those just get go grab a youtube downloader or go to a youtube downloader website you can't really grab it <laughs> and uh and then uh use the url from that video um and grab it that way because that stuff, you never know what you're downloading. So, yeah. Um, yeah, just be careful out there. Uh, in the World Wide Web, it can be uh, quite nasty. But I had to I had to mess with the, again, the gamma, and the saturation, and the chroma key, and the luma key. Um, so, you know, that it's, it's work. But, you know, you toy around with it, you find something you like. And uh, that's, that's what's important. And then this, uh, this mountain... This mountain landscape right here. Originally, I had um, a flaming wolf and then like an ice wolf or something like that uh, animated gif behind there, but um, it was just too gaudy, didn't match my colors or anything, so I got rid of that. But um, the story on this uh, or how I did this is I cut the background out um, and feathered it, I think, by five pixels or something and on GIMP 2.0. Five or ten, somewhere in there. Uh, that's pretty much the sweet spot. And also, yeah, alpha to selection too. Um, and then I I changed, you know, the gamma and the contrast and stuff like that, making it look like it was nighttime. Because I I absolutely love the 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 low light, but yet like the blue. You know, I I, I absolutely love this feeling. It's calm, it's cool. I love it. Absolutely love it. And uh, so that's uh, that's how I did all that. Um, and then the rest is just layering everything and um, yeah, figuring out where you want everything and getting it all lined up where exactly you want it. Um, now you might be also noticing that I do have a uh, an audio source going too, other than my microphone. That is a VLC video source. So I downloaded a bunch of music and I added it into a, uh, a little, um, I guess it was a folder. I had to go and download VLC for it. I can't remember exactly how I did it. Uh, I'll probably have to look into it again if I want to, if I want to add to the, to the music, but, uh, yeah, um, it's it's a VLC video source, so um, it's it's not like just a just a regular MP3. The fuck was that? Oh, must have been the door. Okay, I thought my I thought my house was caving in. I was about ready to run. Um, but anyways, it, yeah, it's not just a regular MP3. It's actually a VLC video source, so that's what you'll have to do. Um, so anyways, I, I hope you found something helpful in this video. If you got questions, let me know. But yeah, uh, just be careful with your cameras, whatever. You've got a multiple camera set up. OBS likes to, for some reason now, it never happened before to me, but for some reason now likes to boot your camera out and uh, your camera won't even work on it. And then you close it and you'll come back and that camera will work, but the other camera will be out. It's not it's not the cameras themselves. The cameras are fine. It's just OBS. Uh, so you have to find workarounds and whatever. But yeah, anyways, I hope you uh, I hope you, you know, found this helpful. Um, maybe even you think my my layout's cool, let me know. Or if you got uh, you got ideas for me to uh, to change how it looks, then let me know. Uh, I will consider it. And uh, if you ever want to join a stream then I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and sometimes I have pop-up streams, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays. Um, just depends. Um, but, yeah, I do it usually 6 p.m. 
on down Central Standard Time. But lately, I've been doing a little bit earlier so more people can pop in because you know they wanna they wanna go to bed or whatever you know. And also, I've got the UK crowd that likes to pop in too. So uh, yeah, if you wanna if you wanna join the stream, Facebook.com forward slash Endeavor One here on YouTube or twitch.tv slash Endeavor TTV. I would love to see you there. And uh, if you want to be on that board, Facebook, Facebook, be the Facebook link, facebook.com forward slash Endeavor one. Okay. And that's spelled just how you see it. Uh, e N D E A V R not V O R, but V R. So that's all I got for you. Also, um, <laughs> that's all I got for you also um no before before I completely go to black screen here <laughs> um the uh, the thing you're about to hear is my support screen I used uh 15 AI which by the way I I use for this too yeah I use that uh for uh soundboard um but uh, I go uh, if I if I go to my uh, my support screen, you'll hear SpongeBob telling you to support me, or he'll break your Nika Nika neck, bitch. <laughs> and uh, the text that I used is from picture to people, so go check that stuff out. Uh, it'll help you help you make uh, thumbnails for videos and whatnot. So yeah. Uh. Anyways. Thank you guys. But 15.ai. Go check that out. For the, for the voices. I am so professional. If you don't support Endeavor, I'll break your Nika Nika neck. <laughs>